Minecraft has a lot of rare items, but which one is the rarest? I've sorted all the rare items, starting with the most common ones and ending with the most insane items you've ever seen. Number 1. Obtaining the bubble column tile in survival should be illegal. However, some players figured out that if you switch the block you're mining at the last possible moment, you can trick the game into dropping the bubble column tile. If you try playing the first snapshot in the Minecraft launcher, the game won't let you, almost as if it was hiding a super rare item. But Darusak, what is this item? Well, it's the horse saddle. Years ago, Mojang needed to give the players a way to ride horses. But then they realized that there already is a saddle in Minecraft. And so the horse saddle got scrapped. Did you know that netherite isn't the rarest armor type? In fact, having a complete set of netherite armor is less rare than this leather cap. On first glance, it doesn't seem that special. However, if you hover over it, you will see efficiency 1, which is impossible to get on a helmet. This leather cap can only be found in certain woodland mansions on bedrock edition, which gives it a chance of just 1.45%. This is a normal dead bush, but this this isn't a dead bush. This item is the shrub. It's actually one pixel shorter and about a thousand times more rare. While you can get a dead bush at any Minecraft desert, getting a shrub requires item transmutation. Yeah, that's one of those super complex glitches. Every Minecraft player today looks the same, but that is going to change because armor trims are coming to Minecraft and they will allow you to customize your armor in thousands of different ways. But we're interested in the rarest trim possible. It requires finding an ancient city and hoping it has this item. In total, your chance of finding it is roughly 0.65%, but this is still nothing compared to the items later in the list. Goats are weird. Not only can they ram players and jump super high, they also have the ability to drop goat horns. However, normal goat horns are lame. What I'm looking for is the screaming goat horn. Obviously, you need to find a screaming goat for that, which has a 2% spawn chance. And since there is 4 types of horns, it can drop, the chance of finding a specific screaming goat horn is a mere 0.5%. This might seem like a normal pufferfish bucket, but that couldn't be further from the truth. This is actually a bucket with a dead pufferfish. That's right, if you try placing it down, you'll see that the pufferfish dies straight away. You can do this with any fish, but it only works on Bedrock Edition in this one update. Minecraft has 17 types of tipped arrows, but the rarest one is the arrow of luck. It was in the game for just two days and getting it was quite the challenge. First, you had to find a village, then cross your fingers and hope that there is a Fletcher, because back then you couldn't change villager professions. Oh, and you also had to get super lucky, since the chance of getting this item was 0.27%. But we're still only scratching the surface. What happens when you mix chainmail and leather armor? Well, you get studded armor. Now of course this doesn't exist today, but it did at one point. Notch added studded armor in early in -depth, but as fate would have it, few weeks later Notch ended up removing the studded armor, officially making it the rarest armor type in Minecraft history. If you're a Minecraft OG, you might remember the nether portal item. This worked exactly like a normal nether portal, except for one big difference. The portal blocks could be placed in the end. So Darusak, does this mean you could teleport the dragon? And yes, you could, but I wouldn't recommend it, since the ender dragon destroys anything in its path. Obtaining water is very easy, but getting the water item is exceptionally hard. Someone on Bedrock Edition figured out a way that makes it possible. This requires building a redstone contraption, which uses kelp to get flowing water. And if you start mining, you might get the water tile. However, getting the lava tile is much harder. Technically, you can also get these two items with the gravity block glitch, but the odds of that are just 0.17%. We've talked about getting the bubble column item. Them. But bubble columns can be used to get another super rare block, and that's the debug one block. In some snapshots, if you push a bubble column with a piston, this mysterious block appears. There's also debug two, but that one is completely unobtainable. You might have heard about the fire item. However, the soul fire version is much more interesting. And yes, there is a way to get it in survival. And that's thanks to the gravity block glitch again. Darusak, what is the gravity block glitch? Well, to put it simply, it's the most powerful glitch in the 
history of Bedrock Edition. It allows you to convert falling blocks into any other block in Minecraft. But since the drops are totally random, the chance of getting the Soul Fire item is just 0.14%. One of the oldest and rarest items in Minecraft is the Dirt Slab. It was added by Notch on October 22nd, 2009, just a couple of months after Minecraft's birth. The Dirt Slabs even generated naturally in the world, but the generation was a little cursed. Bruh. If you try mining a spawner today, you will get nothing and you'll have to find a new spawner. But in this specific version, mining the spawner with a silk touch pickaxe actually drops the item. So what's the catch? Well, getting silk touch in that version is harder than going to Mars. Minecraft has a lot of unique items, but one that stands out is the light item. Normally, you can only get it in creative. However, what you might not realize is that light is technically a block, meaning there is a chance you can get it with the gravity block glitch. See why I called it the most powerful glitch ever? Although I do have to warn you, this can make your world completely unplayable. And since the chance of getting the light item is roughly 0.11%, the risk of losing your world ain't worth it. There are three types of anvils, healthy, chipped and damaged. However, there is one more anvil that I guarantee you've never seen. And that's the broken anvil. These only exist on Bedrock Edition. And the reason they're white is because that's how the anvil looks the moment before it breaks. While having a broken anvil in your world is a big flex, it might as well be a normal pick compared to the items at the end of the video. Some woodland mansions generate with secret rooms, the rarest of which is the last. Lava room. This is the only place where you can find a naturally generated diamond block. But come on, diamond blocks are lame. I have something much more exciting for you. In this specific bedrock version, the game accidentally replaces the diamond block with the barrier block, making it possible to find the barrier block in survival. Enchanted books completely revolutionized Minecraft, but before they did that, they also totally messed it up. In the 12W49A snapshot, books were introduced and so was a new glitch. By using the anvil, you were able to put any enchantment on any item. So you could have dirt with sharpness, water bucket with fire protection, or bedrock with unbreaking. If you find a blue axolotl and catch it into a bucket, you now have one of the most exclusive items in the game. The odds of a blue axolotl spawning are 0.083%. But this item is still not the rarest. Actually, not even close. And gateways are the source of many bugs and glitches. And at this point, Jeb probably regrets adding them. However, the coolest thing you can do with the gateway portal is collecting it. Yeah, there is a way to get the end gateway as an item in survival. Although you can only get it in this specific update on Bedrock Edition. Yo, why are all the best glitches on Bedrock? At least Bedrock doesn't have 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. This Minecraft server is full of rare and illegal items, one of them being the super weapons. But Arusak, what are super weapons? It's a group of items with the most powerful enchants ever created. For example, a diamond sword with sharpness 32,000, which can one-shot anything in the game. Or a stick with knockback so high that hitting someone instantly kicks them from the game. Imagine if you could build an end portal anywhere you want it. Well, actually, you can. In beta 1.9, if you explode a TNT right under the end portal, you'll get the end portal frames as items. They look a little strange, but if you update to a newer version, you'll see the familiar texture. Now all you have to do is a little doop de doop and voila, you can build your own end portal. In April of 2022, the rarest Minecraft item was discovered. This item is so rare that it puts all the previous ones to shame. You have to load up this exact snapshot and look for Enderman. In this Minecraft version, Endermen spawn with random blocks and items in their hands. And the rarest of all these items is the Command Block Minecart. The chance of this particular item spawning is about 0.0001%. So, good luck. 